My name is Herrick Smith, and I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. And I was born and raised there, and I'm just now completing my Master's of Fine Arts in Ceramics, and I'm in the class of 2018. At uh, the Lawrence Art Center, they were hosting a workshop, and Linda Ganstrom had brought some of her students to this workshop. And we made that first connection there, and she mentioned her MFA program, and she had some of her master's students there. This is where I chose to come. And I met Laura, who is now my wife, on, our, on my first day of class here, in art history class. And uh, we dated all through, and eventually did get married, uh, shortly before I finished uh, grad school. And so that was another huge benefit of coming to Fort Hayes. I grew up walking on the pot sherds of the Native American people called the Tumukwa down in St. Augustine. And some of the pieces I would find as a boy were around 5,000 years old. And so growing up as a boy, making little clay things from the same clay beds that these Native Americans were using uh, in the same region uh, was really, it sort of laid the foundation of my interest in not only nature but also sort of generally ceramics, although at the time I had no idea, you know, what that would turn into. And when I came out here, uh, moving from the coast to western Kansas, it, it took a lot of adjustment for me because the landscape was so different. It's really gotten austere beauty that takes time to appreciate. And it's not unlike my native place, seeing the horizon on the ocean with a container ship sort of breaking the horizon is not unlike seeing the horizon with a co-op silo breaking the horizon. So it's, the container ships of the plains don't move, but it's a very similar sort of spatial experience I began going north and exploring the river valley and kind of knocking around in the hills and then going out uh, near Wilson. And I eventually found this clay and brought it back to the studio and tested it and uh, became really interested in the physical properties and using this local clay for my thesis work. And my target was 12 large jars and the smallest was around 60 pounds and the largest was around 115 pounds of local clay. And that was my control in the experiment. And I took 14, it wound up being 14 jars in 14 months to different kilns around the country. But using the clay as the control, looking at how the different wood ash melted on the jars, was really fascinating and noticing differences east and west of the Mississippi and the color palettes created by the wood ash, how it would react with these different woods from all around the country, like cottonwood down in New Mexico or pine up in North Carolina and down in Jupiter, Florida, uh, all the tropical hardwoods from the subdivisions getting cleared, we fired a kiln with mahogany and acacia. And then of course my major professor, Linda, giving me the freedom to travel that much of my thesis year pursuing the project and the freedom to experiment and frankly the freedom to fail. One of the ways that the art department is involved in the community is the gallery walks. Three or four times a year the students are going out into the community especially for their BFA shows and finding venues to have their exit show and working with the retailers and developing relationships, and that is all real-world practice. I'd say the art department here at Fort Hayes State University is on a really steep trajectory, and they're getting a brand new building, and they've already broken ground on it, and it's gonna have excellent facilities, and this program in ceramics was the first in the country to have touchscreen gas-fired kilns. And I could fire 
these enormous kilns from my cell phone and I learned to write the programs for how I wanted to fire the kiln. Fort Hayes State University is really unique. It's uh, kind of this island of green and sort of cultural island or lighthouse, if you will, in the sort of central and western Kansas landscape. Hayes has got a lot going on. Mm -hmm.